This is chapter four, topic four, practice problem number two. Um, in these problems, we have a force acting at some distance away from our pivot point, and we want to replace and find the equivalent force and couple moment about our pivot point. So in this case, we're given a force of 50 pounds acting from A to point B. So the first thing we're going to need to do, of course, is change that force to our Cartesian vector. And then um, we want to find out what that force line is, and then we want to shift and find what the moment is about point C, which means that we're going to need to find a vector going from point C out to our line of force. I chose the point going from C to B, but you could also choose from C to A and get the same answer. Now for a problem like this where you're given many physical dimensions, it may be worthwhile to go through and actually label your points. That way when you need to find a position vector, it's very simple to go through and do the final point minus the initial point. For example, to find force F, we're going to need to take its magnitude times the unit vector or the position vector divided by its magnitude. So to find the position vector from A to B, I would simply take B minus A or 10 minus 0, 35 minus 20, and 0 minus 30. So let's in fact go ahead and find what that force vector looks like first. Um, magnitude times the unit vector or the direction vector. And as I said, if we do B minus A, we get that that position vector is 10I, 15J, negative 30K, and we divide by its magnitude to find um, what the unit vector is and then multiply that by our magnitude of 50. Um, in this case, we find our force vector is 14.31I, 24.4J, and 42.9K. And of course, I should make that um, three sig figs, not four sig figs. That is a free vector, so I've now found the force acting um, at that point. And if I want to find the moment, I need to, for that line of force, find some position that goes out from my pivot point to that line of force. And again, I chose to go to point B, but if you go from point C to point A, you'll get the exact same solution. And then remember, it's final position minus initial, so we'll do B minus C and find out what that position vector is. Uh, 10 minus 0, 35 minus a negative 10, and 0 minus 0. So when we put that into our equation for finding a moment, it's always going to be the line from our pivot point out to the line of force, and we do want to do a cross product of that. So there's the position vector C to B, and our force vector, um, and then we take the cross product and find what our moment is, and this tells us it's the resultant moment about point C, so that gives us the equivalent force and couple moment at point C.